Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now I think this is going to be the last video for this project. What we need is... Uh, yeah, we need to create a post resource. So let's do that first. Let's open the terminal. And I think I have here, yeah. So here I'm going to say artisan make colon resource post resource okay and let's use that post resource on the controllers so i'm going to open the first the post index controller and here let's cut this create a variable and then i want to say post resource collection pass in the post okay let's open the browser and refresh yeah we have an underline here let's open the app service provider and add here the json resource without wrapping save close app provider json resource Let's open again because we need to import this. I thought maybe we imported, but now let's refresh and everything works. Let's close. Let's open the post edit. The same thing here, where to say new post resource pass in the post yeah we import it here and I think we are okay good let's open now the post resource and here we have to modify this so add id title content slug and the image to be asset storage very good Next thing, let's add the, let's close this, let's open the index, the create, because I want to add the image preview. So, for that I'm going to create in here a constant, image preview to be ref string null and we need to import the ref from view ref from yeah import ref from view and yes thank you ai so let's add also here the image preview and we need to import the ref from view i think we are okay now let's open the browser refresh go to create a new post Use a fake filler, choose the image, choose this one, click open, and we have the image and we can create. Good. Let's do the same thing for the update. Let's uh, open the edit. And here, let's add this line. And let's create also the ref for the image preview so const image preview to be ref string add this one add the import from the view and i think we are okay also here let's refresh and yeah we are on the post 3 edit We have the if the current post, but also let me just add here the image preview. So if I click here another image, we have another image. Now let's do the same thing we have done on the React React side. So add div with a class to be flex and uh, space x2 and here 
paste this two here. Now if I choose the image, React, we have side by side. Let's do the same thing. So reduce the opacity if we select another image here. So uh, I'm going to use So if we have the image preview, image, and we don't have the highlighting because we need to bind this class. So if we have the image preview, I want to add opacity, otherwise nothing, and then we have the default uh, classes here. So this is going to be the default but if we have the image preview we are to add opacity 50 or let's say 30 otherwise nothing and let's see on the browser yeah if i go back to pause and let's choose this one choose laravel for example here and as you can see yeah it's reduced if we can update now we have all the images with laravel and of course, if I open here, we have only three images. I think we are good here. Also, if I remove this and say update, we have validation. What is missing is the delete and to show the notification. So for the notification, we are going to use Sonar. Let's open that and install so just copy the command here open the terminal paste that in hit enter okay then we need to import the toaster open the layout app layout let's import that and paste it here Toaster and I'm going to add position to be top right and also rich colors. And I think we are okay. Next thing is to import the toast, and this we need to do in the index. So import the toast, and here now we are going to say unmounted. And first, let's open the handle inertia because we need to add the flash in here so flash not message but success and also we can add for example the error but let's leave it like this and now on mounted we need to use the watch from view and yeah used page props flash and let's import the unmounted from view and also the use page from inertia okay now we have errors here i'm going to suggest use page flash and then here is going to be the flash And I will check if flash dot success toss success and say rtl flash dot success. But we have this underline because well, this is type unknown. We need to create a new type. So let's create the type right here. We will say interface uh, flash. And also for the error and then let's say this flash is going to be type of flash and now we don't have the error we have error here because we need to say also here 
the flash is going to be a type of flash. I think we are okay. So we watch this. The use page drops flash and if the flash success we're going to say toast success and this is going to say and this we're going to add also the immediate to be true and I think we are okay let's open the browser and just let's go and say update and here we have post updated successfully let's go and create this a new post choose this say create post created and also let me just go here because after we say the toast I'm going to say flash uh, flash dot success to be not undefined but to be null and let's change that to be no just say a date okay choose the image let's choose react for this one update and now we are react now let's have the link to delete this and i think we are okay we added the notification the edit and create works so all the project is okay the last thing is to add on the index the link for the delete so add a new link destroy okay we have text right but uh, what i want is to add the flex just if i end and got two and we have this now let's open the controller post destroy controller here we need to receive a post the last line post and make sure you import that post and what we need to do here is just post delete and return post index we need also to remove the image storage import the facade and let's come here and refresh say delete okay delete again delete again and delete again i think we are good so let's start from scratch we are on the dashboard we can go to post go and create one post choose laravel create we can edit we can choose a new image for example okay and we can delete that and that's it all about this project friends now if you like such a videos and such a projects don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much